Hey YouTube, I decided to make this video based on what I seen on the YouTube about the inverters from foreign countries like power jack or low jack or whatever and that they have good efficiency. They don't. I've been messing with the inverters and batteries and charge controllers and I can say I've been there and I've done that and I have some credit on my belt. They say that Oh, power jack 5,000 watts inverter is this and that. That's bull crap. Power jack is made in China or maybe not. I don't know where. And you can see their reputation and all the other foreign made inverters that how they perform and their failure and how to change the MOS FETs on them if they fail and all that. Have you heard anything about Magnusign made in USA having problems? No, I haven't. I've been using it for a long time and I had American made batteries, never had problem. And if I had any comments or issues or questions, the people who sold me this, they stood behind it. They're talking about efficiency on foreign made inverters. I tell you what, what they're missing is they don't have the efficiency of the Magnusign. Uh, by the way, I'm not paid by Magnusign or whatever. I paid hard earned cash money to buy this unit and use it. And I'm proud of it. It's a 24 volt, 4,000 watts, and God knows how many peak watts because I couldn't make it to go off on me. And it never did. It worked like a charm, like a cattle pillar diesel D8. It's always performed well when I was away for weeks and when I came home guess what that little green LED is still blinking every second so do you think power jack has the efficiency of a magna sign Nope. The Magnus sign has a power surge. When there is no load on it, it will go into a surge mode. Meaning, it will cut all the power and it will go for a load. And if there is a load, it will come on and provide the power that you need. So, I was kind of uh, not pissed off, kind of upset of all the ignorance that these people put out as, oh, 
the power jack is this or this or that or this or that. Bottom line is, hey guys, wake up and smell the coffee. You get what you pay for. Power Jack won't give you what an American made inverter and a company would give you. So, here's my test. I have this inverter and the two lines that's a positive, negative, the monitor line, and the outputs. 220 volts output that comes to this output here, GFI, and that output, GFI, that feeds my gas guzzlers in the house include the microwave, the fridge, the freezer, and the washer and the dryer. And there is no load on it, there is no power drop, okay? I'm going to hoop up my clamp meter on the input, which is the positive 24 volts going in to the inverter. And you will see when I disconnect the load, which is this socket and that socket off of the inverter, the inverter will go into a search mode with the minimum power consumption to look for load. And when there is a load, it will kick in and provide the power. So here it goes. Here's a clamp meter. I'll set it to zero. And connect it to the positive of the input of the inverter. Right now I have five and a, let's say half amps drawing from my big battery bank. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the loads, which is this one here, and this one here, and you see, the LEDs start blinking twice a second, looking for the load, And look at the DC draw, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 amps, because you cannot find a load. And it's clicking, it's looking for a load. Does power jack, jack or whatever it is, or any foreign made inverter do this? All right. No, they don't. Now I'm going to plug in my loads, which is the freezer and 
and the side-by-side -side fridge and the washer, dryer, microwave, all those with their own electronics in them back in. There we go. Now we have a 2.67 amp straw because the inverter found load and it's kicked in and the little green LED is blinking once a second that's 60 Hertz now which one of those foreign made inverters that you pay $189 for them can do this. I have two amps draw for my all gas guzzlers. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.